when she passed, uh, it was like everything came to an end. I was very, very devastated and very, very sad. So when I look back at our 32 years together, those were the happiest days of my life. I thought I might never be happy again. I still grieve today. It's been two years, but it is better than it was two years ago. I just uh, remembering that she would want me to be well, she wanted me to be happy. She would want me to keep serving the Lord. It's the, the memory of her, honouring her. Good Friday is still good for me because the story of Good Friday is that God sent Jesus to come and save a fallen world. That's something that anyone who has experienced loss and grief, pain and sorrow will understand. Goodness is, is an attribute of God. In fact, the word good came from God. So whatever the circumstances, it doesn't change the nature of God. So happiness is uh, based on circumstances, you know, when, when, when something good happens to you, or when you enjoy a good meal, you feel happy, or when you're with friends and you have a good laugh. The way I understand joy is that it is despite the circumstances. But within our hearts, there is still that assurance that there is a living Lord, He lives within you, He gives you energy and power and joy to live, continue living. Those two things can coexist. So on one hand, I'm very, very sad uh, that I've lost my dear wife. Uh, at the same time, I, I still have that daily joy to go on living, to relate to people. I can, I can understand when people say, you know, that they have served God faithfully, they have been a good Christian. Why did God allow this to happen to me? It's, uh, it's not a transactional thing, you know, that, that I do how much for God and so God has to give me back how much. I believe God can still do good even out of pain and sorrow. People who've gone through tragedy, they're able to minister to others with the, with the grace that they have themselves received. And the promise of resurrection and the hope of eternal life uh, is a great comfort to me that I look forward to the day when we will be reunited uh, in the presence of God. Also, the reality that she is now part of the cloud of witnesses that we read about in Hebrews 12. It's not a final thing, it's not a final loss. Uh, there is hope uh, for the future. The hope of resurrection is very, very much more real and meaningful to me.